Look at my shop. We got so many guns now that I could sell. So that's exactly what I plan on doing in this episode right here. So yes, hello everyone, Fudgy here, and welcome back to another Unturned Life episode. Let's get this place open. Customers, where art thou? Where are all the customers? Hang on a minute. I've got people spying on me. Who are they? Why are they looking at me down the alleyway? That's so strange. Well, they could be potential customers. Who knows? But yeah, the shop is now open. I feel like I haven't really been opening too often here. So it's about time I do, especially with everything that we have in stock right now. I mean, look at this. This is the best I think it's ever been. We can make some serious cash from all of this stuff right here. I'm just gonna wait behind the counter and hope that people show up. I did uh, send a little message out saying that the shop is open today. I guess no one is interested. No one wants to buy any guns from me, which is a real shame. It is a little strange though, because there's a lot of people around in the safe zone and yet I'm not seeing anyone around my shop. Oh, I hear a vehicle pulling up as well. And there's also someone there. I think that might be the guy that was spying on me down the alleyway. I'm not too sure. Either way, we're just going to wait and hope that someone shows up and starts buying all this good stuff that I have to offer. Oh, there's someone there as well. Whoa, wait, what? We have like a knight over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the Apollos all just showed up at once. Man, you guys are kind of intimidating. Um, hey, buddy. Uh, well... I guess you're welcome to buy anything you like. Oh man, that's funny. I like how I was saying no one's in my shop and then all of a sudden just so many people show up. That is amazing. But I think the Apollos have only just entered the safe zone because I'm pretty sure I saw their helicopter flying over there, not long ago. Ooh, uh, the pistol? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, I will give you the pistol and I'm also gonna throw in this right here for one diamond coin. All right, man. Alright. Because uh, I feel like one diamond, diamond coin for a pistol money. is a little bit too cheap. I don't know. Wait, is he asking his men All for right, money? <laughs> nice. Awesome, thank you. And there are both the thank weapons. You. No worries. Enjoy. Look right. after them. Alright, see ya, Boris. See ya, buddy. Hey, and Let's go. there go the Apollos. Bye -bye. <laughs> only, only one person bought something, which was socks. I guess the rest just follow him around. Hey, hello. Ah, hello. Welcome yeah. to my shop. Hold on one second. Sorry, I can hear a helicopter flying over. I can barely hear anything. I can't see anything. Sorry, sorry. What was that? Uh, I I was gonna ask. Do you have any kind of swords? You know. Uh... Swords. Uh, well, it's weird yeah. that you ask that because I did actually place this machete right here. Is that something I can tempt you with? Yeah, that that's kind of what I'm I'm looking for. Oh wow! Uh, All right. A machete well... of some kind. Perfect. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have to throw in another. A, a, I'm gonna have to throw in a gun for you, okay? Because I am gonna charge you one diamond coin. Uh, here. I'll tell you what. I'll All throw right. that in, and also Zubeknikov, okay? So you're getting two guns and a machete for one diamond coin. Does that sound okay? That sounds like a deal to me, friend. All right. Perfect. Uh, hey, Spabble, Brad. Hey, guys. There. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Um. Can we uh, talk to you around the back at some point? I uh, mean, feel free. You can keep selling, but, you know, in a minute. In a minute. Round the back? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll be with you in a moment. I'm just going to sell to these customers, and uh, we, we can speak, okay? Ah, all right. Very nice. We'll, uh, we'll just wait around back. Come on. All right. Sounds good. Wait around back. There you go. Thank nice. You. Thank you for doing the business, man. No worries. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello. How can I help? I think that was a pretty good deal. Hello, Two bro. guns and a mache. Um, we got a lot of guns. For sale and something special. Oh, um, sure. All right, um, go ahead and throw them on the counter, and I'll uh, I'll see if I want to buy them off you. I don't actually have any diamond coins on me right now, though. I only have the two that I've just got. No, that's not that. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. And how much would you like for all of this? Oh, uh, these are fully kitted out. So how about three to four DC? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll take half today and give you two diamond coins. The rest you can sell to me another time. All right. All right. Sweet. Do you want to also see the special offer? I'll check out the special offer, sure. See what okay. it is. What, what else are they selling? Whoa! How about the armor? Wait, you're, sword? you're selling all of that, including the sword? Um, yes. Oh man, how much is that? Armor. <laughs> uh, normally 10 DC, but 
it's a special price because it's our first armor we made. 5 CP for the entire set. And you get Whoa, the okay, I'll tell you what, can I do a trade with you guys? No, of course. Uh, I'll give you this right here and also this. How does that sound? Here, I'll put it on the floor. So those two. Oh, um, this, this looks pretty good, but do you have a rocket launcher by any chance? Uh, I do, but I don't know if I want to sell that yet, I'm afraid. I'll tell you what. I'm going to throw in a grenade. Two diamond coins I just dropped yeah. and he's picked up. And now we're getting All a right, full plate of armor. Not so not I'm going to sell this on for a profit, I think. Or I will keep it. In fact, let me know in the comment section down below. Do I keep this? Maybe I can have it as like a a, a piece right here in the corner, you know, right. in a, uh, a model. Have a great time. Oh, you've got your weapons. I only wanted half, remember? Oh, true. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, man. Oh, Great deal. Okay, Got a little confusing there. But yeah, I reckon on a mannequin would be pretty good. Um, hey, everyone, I'm That's sorry, but I'm going to have to close the shop. I know I wasn't open for very long. Okay, we're just going to have to close up for a second, just so I can talk to Brad and Spammel here. All right, repost. Let's go. Hello, fellas. All right, what's what's going on? We have right. a prep position um, for you. Okay. If you come around the corner, yeah, Mara. Yeah. Around the corner. Why are these guys being so secretive? I don't understand what's going on. We see you like selling your guns, you know? You got a lot of guns in that store. Right. So, what happens if we told you we could do it for cheaper? We got all the guns, even PVC rocket launchers. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa. Yeah, this bad boy made out of drain pipe. I got, I got one of those as well, but I don't know if I want to sell them. Uh, You guys got some good guns. Where are you getting this stuff from? We made we them. them. Whoa, wait, you... M oh, wait, you're, you're selling and making guns now? <gasps> This is yeah, the perfect business the opportunity. Deal. It is, basically. We, like, deconstructed a bunch of weapons. We had to buy a lot of guns to get it right. Mm -hmm. And then we've been making our own. Uh, we're quite small at the minute, but, you know, we, uh, we thought we'd come to you as you did deal our berries as well. Okay. We can all work together. I've just been selling my guns now. But if you guys are selling them on cheap, Great. I can buy them from you and then sell them on for a profit in my shop. Yeah. The plan. If you want, we could take you to our factory and you can see what we got. Oh, yes, I'd love to check it out. It is right. just over that mountain over there. So over the mountain. You want to meet oh, us there at sunset? Okay. At sunset. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll be out waiting. Unless we all want to go there now. Uh, uh, our heli's not could, big enough. It's a bit of a. But our heli's. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the helicopter I heard earlier. All right, I'll tell you what. You guys just fly over there. I'll just sprint to the the mountain. Whereabouts on the mountain are you guys anyway? Uh, I think you'll see when when you're up there. I don't worry. We'll we'll meet you at the top. Northeast of Chester Motel. If you go from there, at the top of that mountain. We'll gotcha. All right, I'll start running up there now, and I'll meet you both there. Okay. Cool. All right. See you in a bit, mum. Right. In a bit, yeah. fellas. Let's you like go. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, there's a plane crash here. Looks like Flying Blueberry. This is not Flying Blueberry, don't worry. My plane is safe in the hangar. Hmm, I wonder who crash landed here. Okay, we're about halfway now? Wait, no, actually, I think we might even be closer. Oh, there's a base here. Is this it? This is their base. I found it. Forest. Oh, hello. Brad! Oh, hey, Mom. Arrived. It's a bit of a climb. Oh, but is this your base here? Not a, no, no, I, I don't oh. know what this is. Wait, you Our don't know yeah. who this is? This could be... This could be the Fugueris base or something. I'll have to check this out at some Hi. point. Fine. No one's home? Uh, how was the run anyway? Uh, that's tiring. Run. Very tiring. To be fair, that's quite the distance. You must be in good shape. Well, you know, I like to keep fit, so... I, I probably won't be doing that too often. So anyway, where's this base? Oh, there's the helicopter they have. Whoa! Uh, we're gonna have to do a bit of a jump. So, uh, is that a couch on the edge? Uh, yeah, I that don't is. know who put that there. It's for watching the sunset. I was gonna say that looks pretty scary. Whoa! Okay. Careful. <laughs> I'm here. You gotta try and land in the deep bit of the water, right? I, I have an umbrella, so I mean, I could use that, but where's the fun in that? Let's jump into the water. All right, who's going Let's first? Go. All right, you ready? All at the same oh. time. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, well, there we go. Three, two, one. Incoming! Oh. Made it. Oh, oh that's close. loud. That, bit, that is loud. All right, well, here we are. Brad and it's Mr. Spamwell's base. What is that over there? Uh, I have no idea. It was here when we got here. Right. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, on with the tour. This is Family Co. 
furniture in massive quotation marks. You sell furniture or is this just like a front? Ah, this is a front. We put the... Brad tried oh. to fit a shotgun in this toilet earlier, but it went a bit wrong. <laughs> uh, oh man, this is cool though. You know what? I know this is just a front, but I do kind of need furniture as well. I mean, you can have them if you really need it. Yeah, we, uh, we mostly use the lockers and wardrobes and we just cram them in there. Nice, this is so cool. Whoa, yeah. look at this. The Devil's Bane. Got all these confused. Look at all these guns they've We've got. Taking apart a load of guns, we've lifted them out. We're trying to take the key components from each one. We can build our own. Um, we had to buy quite a lot of weapons to do this, but I think it was worth it. That very money went to good use, as they say. Yeah, you guys are definitely uh, going up in the world, especially from, you know, what was it called? No Berry Shear? No Berry Shire? You know, uh, yeah. you got from that to <laughs> this, so it's nice to see you're both doing well. And I'm excited to work with you both, all right? I, I know we can make a lot of money together, uh, that's yeah. for sure. Speaking of that, we kind of need to negotiate how many guns you actually want. I mean, I don't know how many you sell at your shop, but uh, hmm. we can pretty much make whatever you want. Uh, but we need a bit of time to, like, you know, break yeah. it down. Tell you what, let me have a think about it. I'll have a think about it over here. Give me one second, all right? Oh, he's having a good thing. Now, how many guns do I want to buy from these guys? Wait, hang on a minute. I'm just, I'm just realized. I'm thinking about how many guns I'm going to buy from you guys, but you didn't tell me how much they're going to be. Okay, I'll tell you what. Ah, Let's say I, I want ten. I want. I don't have a current supplier really. I just kind of get guns here and there and sell them on. But now ah. you guys are my only supplier, so you don't have much competition. So. Let's say I want a shipment of... Let's go 20 guns. How much would that be? 20. Give oh, it depends on the type. Yeah, that's the true. Type. Let's say they're, they're like assault rifles, you know, your standard AR. We can do the cheap price of just a single diamond coin per gun. Oh, oh and yeah. then I'd sell them on for two diamond coins. Okay, so we're talking 20 diamond coins yeah. for 20 ARs. Uh, well, you see, I'm not you know that great with cash at the moment i don't have a, an awful lot so let's uh let's let's drop it down let's do 10 to begin with and i'll just take a shipment of ars how does that sound on the first one ah perfect we can do 13 i mean we do kind of need the the money uh all right all right i'll tell you what this is our first time working together i'll accept 13 diamond coins for 10 assault rifles they better be in good condition as well. What, what kind of assault rifles? Can I can I see them beforehand? Ah, uh, yeah, any type you want, really. Brad will show you a few. Oh, yeah. This All right. The, That's the main one. These that looks nice pretty good. easy to smuggle. You can keep I'll that accept. one if you want. You can maybe try it as a test model, start of the new store. Okay. Will the weapons be coming with the attachments? Yep. They yeah, yeah. All those attachments. This is it, fellas. Looks like we're in business. All right, Brad, go That's get good. a contract. Come on. Oh, make, we'll, we'll make it official. Yeah, yeah, we'll make it official. Okay, I'll sign the contract. And when can I expect this delivery? I know I haven't paid yet, but I'll pay at the door when you guys arrive. Uh, I think we could maybe do it within two days. Two days? Okay. That's not too bad. All right. I, uh, I'm all right with that. It's very loud over here as well. That waterfall is crazy loud, but maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, it is very, very loud. <laughs> a bit annoying. It's fine. It covers up all the gunshots. It's great. Yeah, that's true. Contract between Boris and totally legal gun dealers. Sign. All right. Signed by Boris. Done. It has been signed. That is a very official contract right there. Yeah, you can come around this way. It's a bit of a weird way to get out. How do I get out of here? There's a, there's a little uh, cave over here, you see. We just like to drop in. We thought it'd be a bit more exciting. Gotcha. It seems like a pretty secure area as well, this uh, this base. I mean, to be fair, people could just drop in at any time. But other than that, it does seem like a cool area to set up a base slash a business, which you guys have done exactly that. And obviously, this is where the exit is, just right over here. Gotcha. All right. Well, fellas, I'll... Uh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Someone's there. You guys see that? Were they? Uh, oh. I, I, I didn't see anyone. I just saw... Whoa, 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 there, there, there. Under arrest. Uh, whoa, oh, that's the no, blue race. No, 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 under no, arrest? No. Wait, why are we under arrest? No, what did no, we do? No, We're a furniture no, company. Wait, I'm You're not under arrest? Yeah. Oh, what's oh, uh, why? What What did they do? do? Why are they getting arrested? They stole your helicopter? Is this true, Spam on Brad? Did you guys steal the blue race uh, helicopter? We borrowed it. We borrowed it. We borrowed it, all right? 
Oh, no, you guys. You guys have messed up big time here. You guys have really messed up. Uh, oh, no. How did you guys steal it anyway? Uh, it's really weirdly. It wasn't too hard, really. Oh, well, it, there's the confession. Really I mean, no, we didn't steal nothing. Right, I'm off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, wait. No, what kidding, do you I'm plan kidding. on hey, doing with them? We're going to take them to the jail cell. Fellas? I know I've just signed the contract, but it looks like we're going to have to... Put this business on hold for a while until you guys get it's released. Fine. It's just furniture. We'll get back to making couches yes, in a moment. Yes, I am worry. buying furniture. That's right. Nothing else. Just furniture. Give us four days instead of two, and we'll have the furniture for you. Okay. All right. Well, I guess you guys got to do the time then, all right? Of course the helicopter isn't this. There's no way those, those guys could get a helicopter like that. But what I want to know is, how did they get away with it in the first place? Like, how have they managed to get the helicopter? Where, where are we going, anyway? Did you guys come here on foot? Follow. No, we yeah. brought Humvees. Oh, okay. I'm just glad I don't have to run back down the hill. Oh, yes, here they are. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the Blue Braves actually arrest civilians like this before. Anyway, we're back in the safe zone now, and I really want to see what actually happens to Brad and Spammel here. I love how they've just made their business, and yet here they are being arrested. Stealing a helicopter. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Straight man. into the cells? Are oh, you kidding me? I mean, it's more spacious than our previous house. So I'll take Bagsy it. Tough on <laughs> sure. Um, all right. Well, I can't climb up uh, there. Fellas, this is what happens when you steal from the Blue Berets. How exactly did they get away with it? How did you guys not clock on to them stealing your helicopter in the first place? Since we're all at the uh, flying base. The flying base? Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll speak to you both soon when you get released. I don't know how long you guys are in here for. I guess that's up to Elias and Rez to decide, which, by the way, where are they? Are they, are they at the helicarrier right now? Yeah, they're at the helicarrier. Gotcha. All right. Well, uh, hopefully you both won't be in here for too long. And I hope you get released soon so we can start working together on the furniture, of course. Yes, yes. The so, I, uh, I, yeah, I hope you, you sleep well tonight. Think about what you've done. And remember never to do this again to the Blue Berets because you don't want to mess with them, as you can tell. Yeah, do you maybe. Blue Berets know of anyone else we could steal helicopters from? <laughs> you know, people that probably don't. So. All right, you know uh, what? Uh, I'm just going to go <laughs> now because you guys might end up doing more time. So, yeah, sleep well, and I will see you both soon, all right? All right, yeah. in a bit. Right, see you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Well, on that note, I'm going to end this episode right here. So I really hope you all enjoyed. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.